Hi everyone, Niklas Seidloff here from IBM and OpenNTF. In this video I'm going to describe a new project on OpenNTF called XPages for Connections. XPages can be used to extend IBM Lotus Connections functionality. This project shows how to build XPages that can be wrapped as iWidgets and added to the Connections homepage, community and profile pages. The iWidget specification is an IBM standard for defining a common format for, widget, for widgets. It has been implemented in several IBM products. Lotus Connections provides the ability for developers to integrate iWidgets into the Lotus Connections user interface. Since Domino 851, XPages can be run as iWidgets. This capability was originally added to use XPages applications in IBM mashups. The same core functionality, however, also works in Lotus Connections. Let me demonstrate a sample. What you see here is the public website xpages.info, which has been built using xpages. The site contains news for xpages developers um, directly on the homepage, and you can open the news on its own um, page so that you can navigate to the older entries. Now let's switch to Lotus Connections. What you see here is the homepage, or more precisely, the widgets page of a user. Users can define easily which widgets they want to display here. In the upper left corner, there is a widget that has been implemented via XPages and it displays the same news from xpages.info. As you can see, users don't recognize that this widget has been built using another technology. As on XPages info, you can navigate to the older entries. Technically, it's easy to build iWidgets with fixed sizes with content which has always the same sizes. It's more difficult to do this for content like lists with subject or abstracts with different lengths. The code in the project shows an alternative for how this can be done. So when you resize the browser, the iWidget is resized appropriately. Also, you can place the same iWidgets um, on, other play, on other pages, like the updates page, as you can see here. Again, this is the widget displaying news from XPages info with a different size. And yet another example is the community page. This is a community I've defined and called OpenNTF community. And right here at the very top, I have now my XPages based iWidget displaying the XPages news. Next, I'm going to describe how you can build your own iWidgets and run them in connections. XPages that are run as iWidgets are wrapped in iframes. This provides the best possible security as well as a sandbox model where widgets can use their own style and JavaScript libraries without colliding. This mechanism is similar to other widget frameworks, for example, open social gadgets, um, which also run in iframes. However, there are some things developers need to be aware of when using iframes. For example, there is no easy direct access to the parent's DOM. Also, widgets need um, to some degree um, be aware of their real estate and react appropriately when the, brow when the browser's windows are resized. The code in the project shows how to do this. As workaround, scroll bars could also be used within the widgets, but this leads in many cases to a poorer user experience. So let me show you a couple of things. This is Domino Designer and you can build your XPages as, as always, just as standalone XPages. In addition to that, you also have to define a so-called widget.xml um, deployment descriptor file. You can simply put these files as file resources into your NSF. This is one of these XML files. And as you can see, here's the iframe um, that I was referring to. And what's important here is to use the width of 100% to always, you know, to, to, to get the resizing um, horizontally for free and to define um, the height of the widget. It's also important to set the scrolling to no unless you explicitly, explicitly want it and, you know, you want a scroll bar to show up in your widget. Plus, you have to refer to your widget um, to your um, X pages implementation of the widget. Once that is done, 
you can you can um, go in Lotus Connections and add your own user or assign your own user the role administrator so that this administrator um, administration tab come, um, shows up on the um, user's home page. Here you can define a title for the widget and the URL pointing to the widget XML that I've just shown you. Um, additionally, you need to define whether you want to display it on the widgets tab and or the updates tab and after that you simply save it and enable it. Once that is done, users can go to um, their home page and click this customize button and from here they can browse through the available ed uh, widgets and add them um, simply by clicking here these, these um, widget buttons. Now when you want to add the same widget to, um, to the communities or um, profile pages uh, you need to do um, something else. Um, administrators cannot do that um, via the web user interface but instead they need to use the command line tool called wsadmin in combination with um, configuration files as you can see here. So right here in this widgets-config.xml file I define my, my two widget definitions and at the very bottom here I define also where to place them. Once that is done um, you can switch uh, you can switch to um, the command line tool and you know use these commands um, to to check in and check out the file um, and, and activate the changes use um, by restarting the community or um, profiles server. There is some documentation available that describes in detail how to do this. It's in the Lotus Connections um, wiki. This is the document that describes you know, how to use um, the WS admin and the configuration file. Um, there's also another good document um, called the iWidget development guide um, with documentation about iWidgets in general plus how, you know, where you can put um, the widgets and best practices for um, how to implement iWidgets. And there's also a document in the um, XPages wiki describing how to put um, X pages as I widgets in, in mashups in general. Thanks a lot for your attention.